What's up YouTube and welcome to Lawless Tries Into The Breach. This is, it's been a while since I've done one of these. <laughs> First one of the year but I finally have a game that I really want to try and show off. This is a game by Subset Games and if you haven't, if you don't know that is, they made FTL. Which is one of my favourite indie games ever made. It's one of the best ones and if you haven't tried it you need to try it. Uh, but it's essentially, they make uh, roguelike games where you kind of just run through the game and every time you run through the game you learn a little bit more and unlock a little bit more stuff. I'm going to go back to normal mode. Uh, so this game is basically, it's basically Pacific Rim, the game, like a strategic version of that. I got my little mech dude here and it's a tone based strategy where you know what the enemy's going to do before you do, before you move. Uh, I'll show it off in a minute, but basically after each game you uh, play, you get coins based on uh, like achievements that you gotta do. So I got these two, and I don't have any of these. I didn't win yet. I haven't won this game yet. And then you can use those coins to unlock new teams of mechs. I've only used the Rift Walker so far, so I'm going to use them for this one, but that's it essentially every time, and assuming I'm assuming that each one is going to be stronger and stronger, similar to how FDL worked. Okay, so let's jump in and I'll show you what this game is actually about. Uh, the story of the game is like the world has actually been destroyed by these things called the Vec, and we go back in time to try and stop it. And every time we fail, we just go back in time again. So it's cool, it's a cute little uh, idea. Once I this island's locked when I started. This was the only island I could do. And then each island slowly became available to me as I don't have this one yet because I never went there. But I think I have to beat two islands and then you get your final mission. So let's go to this one because this is still a kind of the tutorial island. And I want to show off the game. So yeah, just some random story stuff. I got to pick my... So the goal... The lose objective of the game is, see this power grid? When this hits zero, I, I lose the game, all right? And this basically upsets buildings that get destroyed. And then down here, I can see objective coins. These coins here, which I can use to upgrade my units when I leave the island. And the power set, these thunder strike things are to upgrade my power grid. So if it's going low, I want to get this. So let's... It's, well, we only have two down, so let's forget about that and let's jump into our first fight. So, this is really cool. Alright, this is, got to position my guys and we'll start playing the game. This game is very focused on like positioning and it's all about knockback and knocking your guys, or uh, knocking them into uh, certain places, alright? I'm gonna try and show off everything I can here. So they just did their moves, but and we know where they're going to attack, right? So I know this guy's gonna hit this building, which we wanna try and stop, and this guy is gonna hit our tank, which we wanna stop as well. So what I can do is let me see. Who do we want to kill? Uh Okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. So I click my guy, he can move any which way he wants. I'm gonna move him like here. And he he does two damage. Oh, I'm gonna damage my guy. I can I'm gonna undo that move. <laughs> bad bad stat. Alright. Gonna take this dude. Put him here. He's now in the fire line, but it's okay. This is my artillery guy, so he can hit anywhere along this line and he does a knockback in four directions depending on where he is. So I'm not going to hit him. I'm going to put him here. To hit him that way. And... I... I fucked up again. <laughs> was a bad idea, actually. I'm going to reset that on. I get one reset every game. So what I want to do is put him here. And do this. And then he's going to hit that building. Fuck! Shit! I, I suck. I was better when I wasn't talking over it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna have to take a hit. I'm gonna have to take a hit. And you are gonna... Let's kill this guy. This little dude... What? Alright. 
So now they do act out of taunts, and you see I get hit here. Uh, he's threatening my guy again. We got a jumpy jumper. I got another guy threatening this building. Okay. Uh, let's kill this dude straight up because oh they blow up that's what happened to my building I didn't know he blew up alright I'm gonna hit this dude fuck man why they didn't blow up before I think the game's gotten a bit more difficult I did change it off hard mode didn't I shit son So I'm going to move him here, and I'm going to knock him into this building, and that will finish him off. He didn't blow up. Okay. I'll have to oppose that, but okay, that's fine. Yeah, so you can see... Oh, I can show this off as well. This is like my favorite thing to do in the game. So this is where the next round of enemies are going to show up. And... Oh, I was supposed to destroy the dam. I should do that. I'm going to do that next. These are where the next wave of enemies are going to show, right? So, what I can do is, I can move this guy here. I can knock this dude into that. And this is going to stop this guy from spawning and do damage as well. So, it's like, really, really good. And, I think... What do I want to do next? I want to move this dude, because I don't want him to get hit. Uh, let's just move him, like, here. And, we'll hit this guy once, so then he dies next turn. And with the mech, let's, let's destroy the dam, I think. Oh, I killed him anyway, so, okay, so I had no voice. My robots can swim and uh, bugs cannot. Yeah, all right, this is the last turn and looks like we've won. I'm just gonna knock this guy into the water and boom he's dead. So it's all about kind of pushing the enemy around to avoid them hitting my units and uh, the buildings. I didn't do a very good job that game because two of the guys had these exploding passives that I didn't know about. But we'll be aware of that from now on. I'll end my turn and I should win. Yay! Yay! Alright, we can finish this uh, island and I'll show you the boss fight at the end of this island and then that'll give you a good overview of what the game's about. Of the game, I think, all together. Now, I'm going to do this one because we don't do all the... I think we do three missions and then the boss fight happens. So you gotta, so you don't get a chance to do everything on an island. I'm going to do this one to get my, my, my uh, power back up. Uh, where do I want to put these guys? Are these the guys that blew up? The hornets. Are these mines? Oh. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, -ho -ho! so if they move on. Oh, shit. They're just killing themselves. Awesome. Okay, that's... Just quickly, we can kill this dude. Right up. We can kill this dude. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, I'm tempted to take one damage from this guy just to stop one, but I want to kill all the guys, so we're going to take it. I'm going to skip his move because I want to I want to kill all three of them. And I don't know if blocking their spawn counts to kill. Haha, -ha, you fool! Uh... Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. How far can I move you? Not far enough. Not far enough. Also, you are also a problem. You are a problem. Okay, this is a tough positioning here. So I think... I'm just going to have to take a hit with this dude. I right, just gonna take that hit because if I I can only knock him this direction, and I'll just hit him, make him hit these. So this is the only blocking it is the only way. And the reason I want him to get hit and not this guy because this guy can one shot this chick. Uh, so that's that. And then 
I'm gonna move you up just a little bit because I need some better positioning on you. All right. Fuck you. Good. Uh, we got our objective and we just gotta protect the power generator, which is this building right here. So we should get, I should get my power boost next at the end of this. Uh, oh, we gotta kill this dude. I gotta kill this dude. I don't wanna kill this guy. That's an easy kill, so we can do this. That's a good move. Nap text this building as well. Oh, he's gonna hit that, so he, we don't have to worry about him for now. Can we kill this guy easily? I can, but I'm gonna take fire damage to my mech. Do I wanna take fire damage? Do I have another option? I don't think I have any other option. So, fire damage it is then. He's down. Uh, my guys get healed at the end of each mission, but when we die, the mech doesn't get destroyed, but the pilot dies. So I end up with it, because all the pilots have a bonus. So this guy has an XP bonus. This guy doesn't have one. This guy doesn't have one. So if the pilot dies, I lose a chance at getting bonuses and, and they level up as well. I don't think the other, the, the robots themselves don't level up. All right, and this should be the last turn. What health do you have? This might be pretty good. Uh, this guy is three health, so if I knock him into him, he dies. Okay, 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 okay. Check me out. Check me out. I punch you. Die. You move here. I'm gonna do this. Boom. You die. And I. Mr. Robot is my only problem under that move. He's a ranged attack. I'll just do this. And then I'll end and I won't take any more damage. I see most of the victory conditions is I just have to survive a certain amount of turns. Uh, I don't have to defeat everybody. I, that's most of them that I see. So yeah, that was good. That was what's better than the last time. Didn't take any power damage. We didn't lose any of our guys, so that worked out much better. This guy got promoted, which is always good. We get some extra grid defense. This is this up here, so there's a percentage chance that the buildings won't take damage when they get hit. All right, what is this? Is gonna last one, so let's do. We only got three. Let's do this again to be safe. Oh, this is a cool effect. So see, this the water's coming in. So I want to keep all the bad guys on this side so that they'll eventually get drowned. Drowned? Is that a word? I don't think so. Drowned. Alright, and then after this it should be the time for the boss fight. Alright. Ha oh, you fool! Now, here's one thing I don't like what I'm not, I, it's not even if I don't like it but I don't know what order to start okay so these guys are dead these guys are just automatically dead uh, let's take you so and I'm gonna punch you into this I'm gonna take you I'm gonna so I don't take the hit Maybe I will still take that. I don't know. When did it pop up? Hmm. All right, let's just take the hit. If we'll see what happens. I don't think I'm going to take the hit, but we'll see. Yeah, stupid vac. Oh, I took the hit. Damn. I don't want fire. Fantastic. Just two guys. That's fine. Just two guys. That only this guy doesn't do damage. So we don't really have to worry about these guys. They do uh, passive boosts to everyone else. So we gotta get you off there. And... Let's put you... Oh, I didn't mean to do that, actually. Fuck. It was a mistake. I'm gonna reset my turn. I use my one reset. Uh, I wanted to use you to do one damage to this dude. And then... 
gonna move you to like here and do a pair on you and you move back to here and we can hit you and kill you yeah all right next turn we have to kill two enemies if i want to get my my star which is very important to me so let's make sure we get that done Nice, we can definitely kill two guys next to stone. Awesome. Very doable. So, if I... Kill this dude, this guy... Hmm. I was thinking, if I can just push one of these guys with this dude, the two of them will die. And then I can hit him with this. And then take that hit. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I think... I think... I'm gonna put you here. I'm gonna put you here. I'm gonna... You are gonna punch these guys. Like that. You, sir, are gonna do this. Drown him. And then you are going to just come here. And fuck it, let's kill him for the XP. And boom, get wrecked. Nice. And we win. Not a good not a good not a good round by me. I'm so good at this game, guys. I am the best at this game. You can forgive me. Oh, I randomly get chances to get pods. So I didn't explain that when it happened. But this, see this like, uh, there was this black thing. This kind of cradle that landed. That's this pod. And if you protect it, you get like a bonus. So I got a passive skill that I can use. Uh, so, oh, that's a pretty good one. I get the bonus from the passive mech things and reactor core. Reactor core is what we need to upgrade our mechs. So what I can do is I can click on this dude. I can install that reactor core I just got, and I can install this and power it. Uh, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, I, we still have one more. I thought that was going to be it. Okay. So let's do this one. Defend the train. So we're going to have this train moving along the track, and we have to basically wait until the train gets off the, uh, the area. And we just have to defend it. No, no, that's that's pretty good. Uh, what way do you move? Can you move in a beneficial way to me? Hmm. I want to try and move this dude this way, but I can't. I need to get this guy out of the way. That hundred percent. Need to get this dude out of the way. Okay, let's just do that to start with. We'll kill this guy. Then, so we don't have to worry about the train. I can take you, push you in this direction. And he's going to get hit, at least. Uh, depending on the... Oh, well, he's actually not going to die, so... Let's just do this and take a hit, I guess. So then, he's going to die next turn, at least, this way. I, not the best thing, because I'm just the weak guy's taking the damage, but... There's not much else we could have done about that. Uh, it worked out pretty good, worked out pretty good. I was like, that was that was just pure luck. I had no idea who was going to get hit for us there. That's good positioning for there. Good positioning there, and... Nice, nice, nice. We're in pretty good spot here. Pretty good spot. So, if I... I want to move this guy... I can't move him to here, because this guy's in the way. Uh, can I move you there? No. So you straight up are just going to shoot. We're going to put this guy into the water. Because fuck that guy. Then we can... This guy can kill this. But then the mech is not going to be able to do fuck all then, is he? Let's do... If I move you all the way to like here... Can the, yeah, the mech can move there. Excellent. So kill him. Mech, you go here. And punch him here. And the mech's gonna take a hit, but this guy's gonna die and stop a spawn. Which is a good trade, I think. Trade moves forward again. 
stop. So we only got two two losers to deal with, and they're pretty weak. So it's gonna be pretty pretty perfect for us. Uh, this is easy. This is easy. This game is easy. Easy. Boom. Get wrecked. And fucking die. Oh no! I put him into the fire. Oops. Okay. What else? Anton. Yes, so. And we win. Perfect match. Absolute perfection. Perfect clear. I'm not a genius strategist, but, you know, some people have called me that. Now is the boss fight coming. Alright, so we'll do this and then we'll end the, uh, this first impression. Uh, so this is our boss, and we just gotta kill this firefly. Usually they do, like, they hit a, a, a wide range of things, and they do, like, more than one damage. So we'll see... Yeah, so the Firefly isn't actually that bad. It, uh... I can I can kill this straight up right now. If I sacrifice a thing. And I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'll just kill it right now. Right? I can't... It's it's right beside the water. I can't not take that. Oh, do I sacrifice? Fuck it. Fuck it. Oh, resist it! Oh, perfection! <gasps> it can survive in the water. I guess because it's a bigger one. It can survive in the water. Fucking kaiju! Piece of shit. Alright. I'm gonna take some damage here. Oh no. Oh, oh it's a bad. I think I think I gotta reset, guys. I think I gotta reset. Ah oh, man. Alright. Let's just I do, I'm not gonna reset. I'm gonna take the hit like I always planned, because it stops these two spawns. So we're not gonna reset just yet. It's good. This hit poor thing takes a hit. Block it. He dies. And then we got to deal with this bitch. Damn, I thought he, I thought that was gonna be an instant kill for the, on the boss, but I guess I was too hopeful. Okay, what is the best strategy for dealing with this loser? Um Oh, see, this dude does four damage. Shit. I think I got it. I'm gonna punch him this way. And then we're gonna put him into the water again, I think. Just like this. And we get to do one damage to this, which works out pretty good. And then with you, we're gonna hit you and die. Yes. Whew. See, it's definitely a little bit more difficult already, just just by the fact that this guy has three damage, uh, or four damage even he does. So, all right. Oh fuck, this guy's in trouble. This guy's in trouble. So he's he's web now, so he can't move. What is the best? I gotta kill this guy. Very important that we protect this thing. Uh, less important, but still good if we could. And this is important. Fuck. I think this dude's dead. I think this dude's dead. You. If I shoot here. If I shoot here, can this guy... He can't get to this dude. But he can't hit this guy. Okay, okay. This is how we survive. I'm going to do this again. Alright. This guy's gonna have to take a hit. This building's gonna have to take a hit. Because we have to kill this thing. We hit this thing. Kill it. So, this building's safe. With this with this guy, then we kill this guy. So, this guy will only take one damage. Oh, he's still gonna take three damage still. I f oh, man. I don't know if there's a better play than that, honestly. I'm not sure. Let's, uh, I'm gonna retry because we only got two tones left, so let me just retry that. Alright. Put him. I don't actually attack, so. Punch. You. This guy does one damage, this guy's two damage. Definitely have to kill this thing. 
There's no option there. You we're gonna take this dude with us, I guess. At the option. And that's it. That's all I could do, I think. This thing's gonna take damage this time. So yeah. Yeah, so that was gonna happen anyway. But the big difference now is that before the queen was on four health, that's why I think what that tone was better. Uh, that we play was better. So now we can kill this queen. Dude, come on. Why is it laggy? Alright, kill the queen. And then. Oh, we're gonna take another damage here, but. Don't have much of a choice, I'm afraid. Alright. This guy's gonna die. And Tone. Okay. Oh, resisted. Fantastic. How great is that? Alright, and we did it! We cleared the force. Unfortunately, we lost a brave soldier. But, we did it. And we got a promotion for this dude. See, Genos, you will never be forgotten, my friend. R.I.P. Genos. Alright, we got Lily Reed. I get plus two grid power, or I got shield, protector, science class weapon, shields, tiles from damage. Alright, so that's. I can't use that. That's for a different mech. A different type of mech, so that's for one of the other groups. We did just lose a guy, so that's why I'm gonna take this dude. Because we just lost someone. And... Then I can show you how we spend our reputation. So we got our points. I'm gonna get one of these, so we can upgrade. We got... Power hit. It's not that good, honestly. A few saw for a different type of weapon. Different type of mech. Vortex Fist, which is pretty cool, but it does damage to me. I don't want to take do something that takes damage. Oh, this one. Let's take this frog boy. And another tree. Continue. Then I leave the island. And it's secure. I don't know how I unlock this. Complete tree irons to unlock. So I got to do these tree. Anyway, but... So each... Uh... uh Island is gonna have its own kind of, uh, I don't know, special types of missions. This one's definitely the easiest, I bet. Uh, I only done, I've only done the the desert one, and that was pretty difficult at times. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. This is Into the Breach, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.